Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys another one of my Cardfight Vanguard collection set videos. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys sets BT11 through BT13. All three were really awesome sets during the Limit Break format, and got all of them in the book for you guys today. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. The first set is BT11, Seal Dragons Unleashed. This set actually came out before BT10 in the English format. They ended up switching the two sets. I can't remember exactly why they did this, but we got a lot of the support beforehand, including getting four cards for Genesis before we got the rest of the Genesis support. Um, it really did confuse a lot of people. We did get some Kagro and some Aqua Force set um, ahead of time also. We had to wait on some of the Gold Paladin set as well, but they introduced more uh, Sealed Dragon support as well, which I thought was cool, making that deck um, fully playable as its own deck. Uh, Angel Feather was also given more uh, Limit Break support uh, in the form of Break Rides. Uh, we had, I believe, uh, three Break Rides that were uh, triple rare, including Ravmiel, uh, Dauntless and uh, Transcore Dragon um, for Angel Feather, Kagero, and Aqua Force, respectively. We also had um, more support for Eradicators, which, if you think about it, this was the first support we got since Descendant and Gauntlet Buster were in set 10, which we received next afterwards. Uh, Fortuna um, also got that first for Genesis before any of the other support. So we had the card when BT10 came around. Also, uh, last card, Revenant, which was meant to kind of be, you know, the support for the Break Rides before we got um, Tetra Drive Dragon for the Aqua Force Limit Break decks. Uh, for double rares, we also had um, new perfect cards, Celestials, since they focused um, that with the two limit breaks for Angel Feather mostly in this set. We're given their own perfect guard as well. Now, I'm only missing one card um, for uh, this set, Sealed uh, Dragons Unleashed, and that is Genovius for the Aqua Force. I just need to get around to finding it. Uh, I've been all the cards that I'm missing, uh, obviously not the too, too pricey ones. For the other cards, we had a reprint of Seal Dragon Blockade, which was originally a triple rare uh, card in the set made into a double rare, just so you could have kind of like the cross ride with the uh, Seal Dragon Inferno. Uh, unit making a 13k base if you wanted to run that version. They also were given their own perfect guard as Royal, uh, Seal Dragon Rhino Cross. I think mostly because uh, people that wanted to run the N would run it with the uh, Dauntless uh, Break Ride, but still give Kagero sort of their own, you know, form of um, basically sub archetype for the deck. We also had uh, perfect guards for Ancient Dragon as well, Paris Wall. Um, their own break ride came in double rare form and SP, and also Ancient Dragon Tyranno Legend, which meant to be the uh, backup grade three with the break ride for the deck as well. We also had Armor Break Dragon, um, very risky uh, double rare to use, but fun for a lot of players. Eradicator Cho O was also in this set. Uh, along with the Jovius, we had um, two other double rares, including a reprint Emerald Shield Pascal, which wasn't a whole new card, it was just an alternate art, uh, same name, perfect guard, which I find kind of cool just made it easier you know for people who were getting into this set and wanted to build aqua force obviously they didn't have to go to bto8 to get the perfect guard and tier knight lucas which is a counter blast to draw um unit made into a double rare for some of the rares we had backup limit break support and um additional support for angel feathers celestials were given their own 10k and 12k attacker and sariel um a unit for the deck was also um for damage uh was also a celestial uh, but mostly, that's what it focused on for this set. Um, some of the other smaller cards included. I think Genesis was given um, like one of each grade in the pack. The Witch cards, uh, Melissa and Canoil as well. For Kagero, uh, another generic Limit Break uh, 5k uh, unit. And they were also given a 10k uh, for Seal Dragons, 12k um, grade 1 boost support uh, respectively as well. And the same lineup followed for... Seal Dragons, giving them some support as well, and a little bit more uh, different support for the uh, Narukami clan in this set as well. Aqua Force would receive uh, Ride Chain units for the Genovius deck, as well as the generic Limit Break support that the other ones received as well. And then when the commons came around, we had um, plus three attackers for cards like Angel Feather, Limit Break plus three, and other plus power units as well. And we were also given 10k attackers and other damage um, enable 
uh, units as well as a new starter and trigger lineups including new rainbows for all the celestials so if you wanted to run a critical you'd have to go back to using some of the effect units as well uh, Genesis also received some common um, support as well including two new starters um, damage uh, enables for easier limit break seal dragons having their own kind of twist on the cards with uh, easy retire units and then just having your opponent call grave twos meant to you know emphasize the use of killing uh, and you know just immobilizing your opponent through the use of grave twos with the help of your own cards and this would also come in the form of terry cloth their starter uh, draw support through cursey 10k attacker and they are also given their own damage inflictors to help with their own limit breaks as well and we also had red pulse draco kid in this set as well which was a uh, promo beforehand now the grade 3 searcher uh, for Kagro, much easier to get of course and seal dragons also received the rainbow um, treatment for their triggers including uh, Arctopeak which was the put in soul plus three which would be used in a lot of decks um, besides seal dragons as well for its own uh, good ability uh, seal dragons also getting uh, some retire support 10k attacker um, generic uh, savage support which works with uh, just boosting for limit break abilities and whatnot and um, just like angel feather celestials and also uh, seal dragon kagaros uh, one of each trigger for the ancient dragons as well including a damage on flip dino dial for the critical and also uh, narukami would receive support that would basically go with um, the um, sweep command dragon through the use of the starter and just some other generic support that other units had that they did not yet uh, for aqua force they also received um, basically the same treatment and rarity for the ride chains other generic support uh, for limit break support basically uh, new starters stuff that really complemented the support they received in the other sets like blue storm armada and clash of dragons and blades as well um, and they uh, basically didn't receive all the triggers since it wasn't really going for a sub clan but interesting ones like mass production uh, sailor which was one of the first cards to introduce that you can have up to 16 of this card in one deck Moving on now to set 12, Binding of the uh, Rings. This set uh, basically introduced the reverse units into uh, Vanguard as well as Link Joker. Um, completely new clan at the time. We were given uh, support also for Shadow Paladins and, and Gold Paladins. They didn't receive reverse units, but they did receive um, support for Limit Break, including Raging Form Dragon, which with this set basically introduced um, Limit Break support for Shadow Paladins outside of the Trial deck that they received. So stuff you can mix with uh, more Dread that you got from the Trial deck, which is Raging Form. We also had a new form of Garmore to go with the Liberators. For Narukami, they had Vowing Saber Reverse, which was the first uh, reverse unit to appear in the anime and emphasize lock in other clans besides Link Joker. Dungaree also received a cross ride. This was originally in Blue Storm Armada and then received a cross ride in this set with as well as some other support as well. For Link Joker, they received a ride chain, Swart Shield, Dragon, uh, Nebula Lord for the ones who didn't want to ride the ride chain. And for the other um, reverse units, we had um, Amon Reverse and Luquia Reverse, each one focusing on the lock mechanic as well for their own abilities, and each one of the reverse units being cross rides as well for their decks. And for the double rares, uh, plenty of support for uh, Shadow Paladins, including Witch, uh, Etain, uh, Tartu, and Maclear, which is a new Revenger version of Maclear instead of the original Maclear for Shadow Paladins. Also received a new Bark Gall for Liberators in the form of a Grade 1. Narukami got a Counter Blast to draw, just like um, Aqua Force received in set 11. Uh, perfect Guard for Link Joker as well, which was the first Perfect Guard um, that the clan received as well. Shadow Paladin and Pale Moon also receiving a good number of double rares in the set, including their own Break Ride, 
um, both respectively as well. The main focus in this set was obviously the reverse, so they downgraded the brake rides to double wares for both of those. Also giving them each a perfect guard, a Mon, becoming a subclan itself was giving uh, Vlad Specula and Silverthorn, which was also made into a subclan in this set. Uh, because of Luke Weir, it was given a Silverthorn perfect guard. And each one giving a backup grade 3 for those who didn't want to try the reverse with their decks and keep it more of a generic uh, brake ride format. For other uh, cards, they're rares. Uh, Shadow Paladin receiving a good amount, including Dorrit and Trumpeteer and Claudus, which all revolved around either Blaster Dark or just filling up the field for sacrifices for the Shadow Paladin units. Uh, Gold Paladin receiving some small as well as some support to help out with the um, Vowing Saber Reverse card. Uh, Rising Phoenix also given a reprint as a rare in this set since BT06. And also more support just for uh, Narukami in general. Link Joker receiving a good amount of rares, including the Ride Chain for Sword Shield. Um, Dusttail Unicorn, which was also a promo at the time beforehand, just like the Kagero Grade 3 Searcher in Set 11. Uh, more generic support, including the Limit Break cards for Dark Irregulars and Pale Moon as well. Also uh, 12k Attacker uh, for... Uh, Mon and uh, 12k attacker and 10k attacker for silver thorns in this set as well. Shadow Paladin also receiving common support um, varying and also one of each trigger for them in this set since they had their trial deck obviously they were only given that. Bruno for gold paladins other support as well uh, only getting a stand trigger for liberators in this set and a draw trigger for Narukami in this set. For Link Joker a lot of support that focused on power for their uh, locked units on their opponent's side, and they also received three triggers in this set. Um, my guess is they received three because one, they had a trial deck where they got four triggers, and um, this was the set that introduced the clan, so they wanted to give us options by giving us each an additional trigger when knowing they would also get support later on with the upcoming sets as well for triggers. We also got common support for Amon, generic support like Dimension Creeper as well, 10k attacker for um, triggers. They were given four to match up with the subclans that they were kind of carrying on with the tradition for these limit break uh, sets. So one of each there. Pale Moon, same treatment, lots of Luke Weir support, and also one of each trigger for the rainbows as well. Which, now that I notice, I do have two of the draw triggers for Natasha, which I'll have to fix for the collection video since one of them is the critical trigger for Silver Moons, obviously. And lastly, for the binder, we have uh, Catastrophic Outbreak, which is set 13. Now, this had a diverse amount of uh, support, including more reverse units, also the main unit for uh, Starvaders at the time, which is Chaos Breaker Dragon. Uh, Nubatama, after set 1, finally received support to make the deck completely playable as a Nubatama deck. They received their own break ride in the form of Kujikiri Kongo. Um, two cross rides for Ethics Buster, which came out in set 10, including a normal unit and a reverse unit. Uh, reverse units for Dayusha as well, and a limit and a break ride unit, Original Saver Zero, which was generic Dimension Police support. We also received Tetradog Dragon to better work with the Transcore break ride from set 11, and Angel Feathers, Ramiel receiving her own reverse unit as well. So plenty of reverse units in this set, as well as Link Joker units. For the double rares, Angel Feather support, and also uh, more double rare support for the Nubatama clans. Um, also, uh, double rare Brainy Papio, and also the Perfect Guard for Beast Deities to make the deck complete on its own as well. Uh, double rare for Dimension Police was Die Shield, making Dimensional Robos more of their own thing with this pack as well. Uh, one card I'm missing from this set um, that uh, should just be another easy find I didn't have to get around to is Colony Maker for Link Joker, the grade 2 searcher for the deck. Grand Blue also receiving support in this set in the form of a reverse unit and a break ride. Same treatment going to Great Nature in the form of Chat Noir and Leopold Reverse. Both Leopold and Cockatus worked with the old limit break units to reach 13k base. So plenty of cross ride uh, reverse in this set for sure. 
for the rares, we had support for Angel Feather, including more backup for the Celestial cards. Uh, Nubatama receiving the plus five limit breaks like every other clan as well, as well as more rare generic support for the deck. Uh, Beast Deity is receiving a Soul Blast 2 draw and more Grade 1 support for the um, Beast Deity deck. Uh, Dimension Robos receiving a good number of rares as well uh, to help support. They were also receiving a trial deck at the time, so a lot of those cards would be available in that as well. Link Joker, um, same treatment. Um, new Grade 2s for draw, new starter. Uh, Grand Blue receiving Banshee in this set as well for their draw. Tidal Assault being released for Aqua Force, which is a major Aqua Force card uh, in all the upcoming decks as well. Uh, Great Nature receiving some backup small support. And for the commons, Angel Feather uh, receiving just some, some more minor support to work with Ramiya Reverse since they did have their major support for the Limit Break decks in set 11 seal dragons unleash but nubatama receiving plenty of cards in the form of a 10k uh just backup grade 2 support 8k um fuki triggers they received one of each which would be what you would have to have used in the deck at the time until we would get later more triggers in the form of promos and just upcoming sets as well so there wasn't really much change to the deck for a good while until we got more nubatama support but beast deities also received some small riser support in this set as well but the trigger lineup for beast deities was rainbow like all the other ones received as well monster support as well in this set for uh, use with the zeal uh, decks and we also had the same feature now they already received their trigger in bt08 so they gave one trigger to monster and three two dimensional robos in this set which is why i found interesting they kind of kept it so one of each just like all the other ones but since the dimensional robos already received their trigger they kind of just made a generic one for this set Link Joker also receiving more generic support, but wouldn't receive any more triggers until later in the next set, which is set 15. And we also had plenty of Grand Blue support and Aqua Force support as well. Uh, generic grade starters, uh, power units for each clan. But uh, Aqua Force receiving the draw trigger in this set in the form of Malika, which is a draw trigger with an effect, which is what the deck needed for a long while. And to finish up, uh, Great Nature receiving one trigger as well. An additional crit, so you can change the numbers finally to how many crits you ran in the deck as well. But yeah, that is it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Qualia out.